now we move on to the sixth problem an insulated tank a containing 0.4 meter cube this has a volume of 0.4 meter cube of saturated water vapor that is so you can say v equal to 0.4 meter cube and uh, so let us it's a let us say x1 so x a1 equal to 1 saturated water vapor and p1 equal to 500 kilo pascals that is the content in the tank connected to initially evacuated insulated piston cylinder assembly b as shown in the figure okay here nothing is there in this the mass of the piston here the mass of the piston is such that a pressure of 200 kilo pascals is required to lift it that means if the pressure at the bottom of this piston cylinder becomes 200 kilo pascals then the piston will lift the now the valve this valve is open and the steam flows into the cylinder pushing the so now what happens once the steam starts to flow from this piping through the wall pressure slowly increases once it reaches 200 kilo pascals the piston will be lifted up slowly the process continues until the pressure in the tank falls to 200 kilo pascals that's it now considering steam as a system so the steam is now initially was in a now it is so we can see that after steam pressure in a falls to 200 kilo pascals so finally so we'll say here 500 kilo pascals to 200 kilo pascals the pressure falls then piston in the cylinder b would have reached some height because so now steam will be there in a as well as b steam of course will be there in the pipe and the valves but it is negligible the steam content in the pipes and the valves are negligible so we need not take into account of that so considering steam as the system determine the a the mass of the steam initially in the tank b the specific enthalpy of the steam at the final state when that is steam in both a and b and c the dryness fraction if saturated or the temperature if superheated so that is the question asked so here what is given in the state 1 is p1 is uh, so for 500 kilo pascals we have to go to the tables so 500 kilo pascals we have to go to saturation table 500 kilo pascals tables here so this five bar five bar table you find that vg is 0.375 vg is 0.375 and uh, here ug is 2561 so we can retrieve this for because at 500 kilo pascals or 5 bar the quality is 1 that means you can take v as vg and u as ug so now v1 equal to vg equal to what is the value from the table you have to enter the value 0.375 meter cube per kg now You have U one equal to U G equal to two five six one kilo joules per kg. So this is from the so corresponding to x equal to one. So we have taken this value. Now what is the mass? Mass of saturated steam in state one. That is, I will say, sorry, M A one. Will be equal to how much? You know the total volume V by V one. That is zero point four meter cube divided by zero point three seven five meter cube per kg. So that will be equal to one point zero six six seven kg. So that is the first one. Determine the mass of the 
steam initially in the tank that is 1.0667 kg. Now final pressure is given as so P2 is given as 200 kilo pascals that is given but now the steam is in both A and B some steam has flown from A and B but we, have, we can neglect the uh, steam in the pipelines valves small pipelines and the valves so we will say that steam is present in A and B now the final state now as the piston rises at constant pressure because there is nothing no other force see why there is a pressure of 200 kilo pascals needed to lift the piston that is there is atmospheric pressure of 100 kilo pascals plus the piston itself can give a pressure of 100 kilo pascals so there will be totally 200 kilo pascals is required for the piston to be lifted off so as the pressure in the bottom surface of the piston reaches 200 kilo pascals a constant pressure process occurs so as the piston rises at constant pressure we can write the first law now okay and uh, and the it is given that the insulated piston cylinder insulated tank that means and a and b are insulated do you understand so we can say q equal to 0 w equal to integral p dv which is occurring at constant pressure for this so we will see that we have done the mass in initial state as 1.0667 kg now p2 is the final pressure is given as 200 kilo pascals now see that the system will be whatever steam which is in a plus whatever is in b together we can take as a system for that the pressure in a is 200 kilo pascals pressure in b also will be 200 kilo pascals because as the bottom surface of the piston sees the pressure of 200 kilo pascals it will gradually lift up at constant pressure so piston as the piston rises at constant pressure and a and b are insulated we can say q equal to 0 and w equal to p dv equal to p into delta v this p is 200 kilo pascals into delta v okay so this is the uh, things you have to remember here now apply the first law okay we first law we apply we can see that q minus w equal to delta u or minus w equal to u2 minus u1 what is minus w we can say m into p2 into v2 minus v1 equal to m into u2 minus u1 for delta u but m cancels so now i can rearrange u2 u2 i keep here p2 v2 i take the other side so u2 plus p2 v2 equal to u1 which is that i took to take to the other side so u1 plus p2 v1 p2 v1 so in the final state p2 equal to 200 kilo pascals okay so now what is u2 plus p2 v2 that is h2 so h2 will be equal to 2561 plus that is u1 plus p2 is 200 kilo pascals this is kilo joule per kg this is kilo pascals and this will be meter cube per kg this is v1 so now i substitute i get 2636 for the v, uh, h2 so what is final state final state is h2 equal to 2636 kilo joule per kg and the p2 equal to 200 kilo pascals so now the enthalpy at the final stage is calculated now that is the second part of the question so see this b the specific enthalpy of the steam at the final state that is calculated h2 is calculated now c calculate the dynamic fraction if saturated or temperature if superheated that is c now for that i have to go to steam tables in steam tables 200 kilo pascals is this okay 200 kilo pascals you can see that the value of h is maximum h is what here 200 kilo pascals 2707 hg at 2 bar that is 200 kilo pascals 
the value of hg is 2707 so now at 200 kilo pascals hg equal to 2707 that means what is this since h2 is less than hg the state is saturated mixture of liquid and vapor that means i have to find the quality what is x2 x2 will be equal to h2 minus hf divided by hg minus hf so now go back to the tables get the value of at this 2 bar what is the value of hf hf will be 504.7 so that is 2636 minus 504.7 divided by 2707 minus 504.7 so that is the quality value 0.9677 quality so if it is what is asked is if dryness fraction or quality if saturated now it is saturated so we have found this now finally the work interaction for the process what is work interaction you have to find x2 is got now find v2 v2 is vf plus x2 into vg minus vf so go back to the tables for 2 bar what is vf vf is 1.061 into 10 power minus 3 and uh, vg is 0.886 so this is 0 0.001061 plus quality is 0 0.9677 into 0 0.886 minus 0 0.001061 so that will give you v2 as 0 0.8574 meter cube per kg so what is the work done work done equal to p2 into v2 minus v1 okay so that will be equal to 200 into, into so m also you can put m so 200 into mass is 1.0667 into v2 is 0 0.8574 minus v1 is what v1 is 0 0.375 minus 0 0.375 okay so that is the value so it's around uh, say 97 kilojoules so you can see that in this problem in this problem the valve is open the valve again mechanical device which will take care of the pressure difference between this initially nothing is there there is a 500 kilo pascal pressure here the valve when it is open this will take, off, take care of the pressure difference and slowly allow the steam to flow from A to B once the pressure in the bottom becomes 200 kilo pascal the piston will be lifted up gradually and the pressure will remain constant as the steam flows the its pressure decreases from 500 to 200 kilo pascal that is the final state then after that the flow will not take place because both sides the pressure is same now what happens is that is a mass which is flowing from a to b taking the final state of the steam as a system we can find the apply the first law so for that since it is insulated q is 0 and the w will be equal to p into delta v so that if you apply we can find the final state specific enthalpy and with that and the pressure which is given we fix the state and the state is a saturation mixture so dryness fraction was calculated from that v2 was calculated and uh, we found the value of the work next problem a closed horizontal cylinder is divided into two parts by a frictionless thermally conducting piston held in place by a pin so let us draw this to understand better the cylinder horizontal cylinder divided into two parts by frictionless so like this uh, thermally conducting so the, this is thermally conducting held in place by a pin 
so there is a pin which is first put some it may be at some position now say side a contains so this is a side a contains 0.01 okay i will write outside so this is 0.01 meter cube of air okay at 200 kilo pascals and 75 degree centigrade side b contains 0.3 meter cube of saturated water vapor at 75 degree centigrade saturated vapor water vapor that means x equal to 1 that is the initial condition so this is the initial arrangement okay the pin is now removed releasing the piston which moves towards the side b so this is b okay so when the pin is removed the piston moves towards side b eventually both sides come to an equilibrium heat transfer occurs during the process please understand that heat transfer can occur from surroundings between a and b also through the piston because that is also thermally conducting so heat transfer occurs such that the temperature remains constant so here you can see that both temperatures are 75 initially also finally also i'll say the temperature remained at 75 degrees in both the chambers okay now a what are the final states of water and air okay because the state will change you know, as the piston moves determine the sign and magnitude of the total heat transfer so this is what is asked so now let us first understand the states initial state and find the masses of air and water vapor solution mass of the air in a i'll say ma will be equal to what the pressure is given so 200 kilo pascals so 200 into 10 power 3 pascals into volume is 0.01 divided by rt r is 287 given here 287 into t is 273 plus 75 because you have to use kelvin so that will give you the mass as 0.02 kg okay now state in the b what is this uh, so we can say that uh, 75 degree centigrade x equal to 1 so what is v vg so i will say v b1 will be equal to vg at 75 degree centigrade correct the specific volume in the b initially so that we have to go to the tables go to the temperature based so this is pressure based so temperature based saturation table and 75 degree is the temperature we are looking for what is the value of vg so vg is 4.131 4.131 meter cube per kg that's it and the total volume is given as 0.3 so what is mass of the saturated saturated the water vapor in b that will be v divided by vb i will say vb1 actually this is vb1 divided by small vb1 which is equal to 0.3 divided by 4.131 which is equal to 0.72 sorry 0.072 kg so we have to note p b also what is the pressure in the chamber b initially that we can take as the pressure saturation because it is saturated vapor so the pressure should be the saturation pressure at the given temperature of 75 degrees that is 0.3858 similarly i can also take the value of ug for the u so 2476 so substituting here pb will be 0.3858 bar or 38.58 kilo pascals and the u u b1 equal to ug at 
seventy five degrees centigrade equal to two four seven six kilo joules per kg. So these are the data from the steam table which you have taken. So state one is clearly fixed, mass is found. State two also is clearly fixed for this. Again, mass of the steam and uh, internal energy etc has has been calculated. Now temperature remains constant during the process. What happens is the piston moves to the rise right. Okay, so let us see this. Let us for the B will draw this again. We will take a um, here we are going to take a PV diagram basically PV diagram. Okay, now this is the isotherm of seventy five degrees centigrade. Now we have a state. State one. This is for B. Okay. State one is this. So this is thirty-eight point five eight kilo pascal. That is the saturation pressure at seventy five degrees. So now we have state one as the V equal to V G at seventy five degrees. That is saturated vapor. This is the critical point, and this is the saturated vapor line, and this is saturated liquid line. So this is the isotherm we have. So now you see this is the Condition at uh, state one. Now, as the piston moves towards towards the right, what happens? It will try to compress. Correct. It will try to compress the saturated vapor. When it is compressed, and the temperature remains constant, so that means the this isotherm will be followed. So it will be compressed, and it will go in this line basically. That means pressure will not vary now for B. Okay. Finally, when the what happens to the pressure in the A? Go back. Pressure in the A initially is two hundred kilo pascals. So as the piston moves towards the right, pressure in the B will not change because it is saturated condition. That is a condensation occurring. That is from the saturated water vapor. The condensation occurs slowly. Liquid is formed and the pressure and the temperature both will remain constant due to the phase change. Here. due to the movement of the piston towards right in a the pressure of the air will decrease from 200 kilo pascals and when it reaches the pressure of 38.58 kilo pascals piston will not move anymore because afterwards the pressure in the both the chambers will be the same because already the pressure in chamber b will be 38.58 till what point till it becomes saturated liquid okay Whether whether it reaches this state or not, I don't know. But you can see that the pressure will remain constant until all the vapor is converted into liquid. So, but between this state itself, somewhere you can see that the air pressure will decrease from 200 kilo pascals to this kilo this 38.58 kilo pascals. Then after that, piston will not move. Do you understand? So keep that in mind. so we can say that since t remains constant when saturated water vapor is compressed slowly compressed it condenses see this diagram okay it condenses and the pressure and temperature remain constant until it becomes saturated look at so we will find a case when it has become after it becomes saturated liquid then further compression occurs then it can the pressure can rise but what happens is within this time if the chamber air pressure in the chamber a reduces to 38.58 the 
the piston will not be able to compress this more. So, keeping that in mind, we will find that the PB2 will be equal to the for B, PB1 equal to 38.58 kilopascals. Do you understand? So, that is the thing. So, now we can say P2. P2 all common pressure will be this. So, now what will be? So, once you calculate PA2 also will be equal to P2 equal to 38.58 kilopascals. After this, it cannot move. So, that means that what will be the volume in A now? Volume in A will be equal to use the PV equal to MRT. So, volume in A will be equal to mass. Mass is 0.02 into 287 into temperature remains constant divided by 38.58 into 10 power 3. So, that will be equal to 0 0.052 meter cube. So, that will be the volume. Initial volume was basically initial volume was given. So, you know the initial volume of this is a VA2 sorry VA2. So, initial volume was 0 0.01. So, we can say that VA1 plus VA2 will be equal to sorry VB, VB1 equal to VA2 plus VB2. Okay. So, why? Because once the piston moves to the towards the right, initially volume in A plus volume in B should be equal to final volume in A and final volume in B added. So, this is the condition. So, we know VA1 that is 0 0.01, 0 0.01 and this is 0 0.3 equal to now VA2 is known 0 0.052 plus VB2. So, applying this condition I can find VB2 equal to 0.31 minus 0 0.052 which is equal to 0 0.258 meter cube and uh, VB2 will be equal to what 0 0.258 by mass that is meter cube divided by mass in B that is what go back mass in B is 0 0.0762 0 0.0762 kg which is equal to 3.552 meter cube per kg. So, please see that this is the process. So, slowly the from this point slowly the condensation occurs and uh, the pressure is 38.58, it remains constant till all the vapor in the isothermal process, compression process turns into liquid, saturated liquid. Now, then pressure should increase drastically, but what happens is by that time the A, pressure in A also drops to 38.58 from 200, that means the final pressure should be 38.58. Okay. Now, from that I calculated VA2, final volume in the air chamber that is mass into R into T divided by P, from that I calculated this. Then the volume conservation, initial volume in both chambers should be equal to final volume in both chambers. Using that I calculated the final volume in the steam chamber, from that the specific volume is calculated because specific volume should be used to fix the state of the steam. So, now what is the state now? Vb2 is known, final pressure. So, here Vb2 is known, now in the same line we are somewhere we will be there. So, what is we know from the previous that uh, Vg1 is 4.131. 
Vf we will find from the tables. So here for 75 we can say Vf equal to 1.026 into 10 power minus 3. Similarly, Uf equal to 319.9. You can take these values. So you can say x2 for the b will be equal to 3.552 minus 1.026. Divided by this is 4.131. So, what is x2? x2 will be 0 0.86. 0 0.86. That is it. So, the quality now the state 2 will be somewhere here. This is state 2. So, this has happened basically from 1 to 2, it has moved. So, the pressure remains constant. This is within the time the condensation from saturated vapor to a quality of 0.8 is occurred, pressure has dropped to uh, from the gas, uh, the air chamber from 200 kilopascals to 38.58. So, that is the final state. So, now what is U2? U2 we can calculate as Uf plus X2 into Ug minus Uf. So, these are Uf and Ug can be taken from 75 degree line. So, that will be equal to go back to the tables 313.9 313.9 plus 0 0.86 into this is 2476 2476 minus 313.9 so that will be equal to u2 will be equal to 2173.3 kilo joules per kg that is it so now we can apply the first law Okay, now what is the work involved in the chamber A? Work involved in the chamber A will be equal to P A1 V A1 into natural logarithm of V A2 by V A1. Why? Because isothermal expansion P V equal to constant. Okay, now applying the values here it will be equal to 3.297 kilo joules. So, what is work done as the air expands will be absorbed by the steam. So, that will be equal to minus Wb in the steam chamber it is compressed that means as the air expands the steam is compressed. So, Wa plus Wb equal to 0 or Wa equal to minus Wb. So, that we have. for A delta U A equal to M C V T A 2 minus T A 1 equal to 0 since T A 2 equal to T A 1. So, that is 0. So, that means Q for A will be equal to W for A that is it. So, which is equal to 3.297 kilo joules. So, that is equation 1 for us. Now, for B, I can say Q B minus W B equal to delta U B equal to M B into U B 2 minus U B 1. So, now Q B equal to W B, W B equal to minus 3.297 okay, plus M B. Mb is 0 0.0762 0 0.0762 0 0.0762 into Ub2 Ub2 is this 2173.3 2173.3 minus Ub1 Ub1 will be equal to 2476 2476 so that will be equal to how much minus 25.28 kilo joules that is QB this is 2. So, total heat transfer Q total equal to QA plus QB equal to minus 22 kilo joules. So, in this problem please understand that nothing is insulated. 
so the heat transfer can occur from both the chambers to the surroundings plus in between air and steam chamber also it can occur because this piston is thermally conducting okay so this is the problem number 7